Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Angela. I'm the artist behind Clark Fine Art. I just want to take a quick moment and give a shout out and say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I greatly appreciate your support. Today, we're going to travel to the ocean and see how I created this ocean sunset painting. So, let me grab my supplies and come on, let's get started. Okay, for colors today, I have some Mars Black, Titanium White, Lemon Yellow, Scarlet Red, Cerulean Blue, and I even put on a little bit of phthalo green because I wasn't sure if I was going to want a little bit of a turquoise color in my water. So those are the colors that are on my palette. So to start with, I'm just putting in some white and I'm actually holding my canvas um, vertically. Now I'm going to turn it back horizontally in a little bit. But I started laying in the white and then added some yellow and I'm just building up the area that's going to be my sunset. And I know I'm going to want my sunset reflecting in my water. So I started with this oval shape and you'll see that once I turn this to that landscape position, uh, I'm going to bring that horizon right through the center. So here I'm just starting to lay in the blue that is going to be my sky and my water. And I keep using a makeup brush. That's a makeup blending brush there just to kind of blend out my strokes and smooth everything out. So now as I add this blue in, I'm going to stay pretty um, vertical in my strokes because that's my water. But you'll see that when I work on the left side of the painting, I'm going to really just kind of dab that in circular motions because this is clouds. I want a really cloudy sky. So for this piece, I wanted that feel like the sun's going down, the clouds are rolling in, night is coming. And so I really kept it nice and soft and all my strokes very rounded on the left side where my clouds are. So I'm just going in and just continuing to blend out my, my sunset into the, my sky. You'll see that when I did this, I put down red, then I made up some purple to make that transition to go from uh, my yellow to my blue a little more smoothly. Then just continuing to add into the sky. I'm going to work this a lot, but you're going to see that I'll transition. I'm going to go from my sky to my ocean, to the sky, back to the ocean. So here, just laying down some white. So I just want to cover over that blue. And I could have done this in the beginning or left this part blank, but I wasn't worried about it. Put on some white. Now I'm mixing up with my red, yellow, and a little bit of my uh, blue. That's blue. That's not Mars black. I'm sorry. That is, I believe that was a uh, ultramarine blue. And I'm just blending those colors to make my a nice tan, adding a little white in there to make a nice tan color for my sand. Yeah, that's, that's an ultramarine blue. That is not Mars black. Sorry guys. So here I slowed this part down a little bit for you so you can see as I start to lay in where it's going to be my water, I'm working very loose horizontal strokes. I'm not worried about making contact with my canvas. In fact, I don't want to make contact with my canvas in a long straight line. I just want to put in some little strokes of color. I've started as I paint uh, ocean scenes, I just start laying in some color and I let the waves start to appear on their own. For example, I'll see thicker areas of dark color and that'll just naturally start to become one of the waves and I'll start to work my highlights in on top of that. And you'll see me do that here. But I started with a darker blue, then came in with a mid-tone and going back over that area, I'm being really careful not to put too much color in in front of where my sun is because I want those colors reflecting in my water. So I'm bringing that, that was more of a dry brush right down over the sand. So you can kind of see through some of that, just like the water rolling over the beach sand. And now I'm taking a lighter version. This is blue. This is not white. This is a lighter blue. 
I won't use white until the very end when I'm putting highlights into my waves. So here again, just adding in another color, sweeping over that sand, and I'll start to pick out areas. I always put that light right above a nice dark spot, and that's gonna help add height to my waves and lift them up off the painting. So here I'm going to start to, I'm going to let the water dry and now I'm going to go back to my sky and I'm going to start to lay in some of these clouds. So I mixed up a nice deep pur purplish blue tone and I'm just going to start laying these in. Now clouds used to be the bane of my existence. I absolutely hated doing clouds. I felt that Every time I did them, they didn't come out right. They looked horrible and it was so frustrating. And finally, I just started to let go of that and just consider like here you'll see, I started out with the dark color. Now I'm building my lighter colors towards the bottom because this, what light there is, the sun is setting. So it's going to be reflecting up underneath and then the top parts of the clouds will be darker. So I'm just keeping that in mind. Keep in mind where your light is in relation to your, or your light source in relation to your clouds. And that'll really help you know, should the shadows be on the bottom? Should they be on the top? And I just kept building up values. Now here I did lay out some Mars black and I'm putting in the land masses that I want to separate my sky from my ocean along my horizon. So I'm just going to lay those in no rhyme or reason that just happened to be the shape that came to me as the brush was going across the canvas. I'm not following a reference photo in this one. So just laying in that landmass and on the right side, I'm not worrying about making the, this so dark. I don't mind if some of that yellow shows through because if some of that yellow in the background shows through that black, it's just going to look like the sun highlighting on the land. So don't worry about that. Now here I'm going to, I'm mixing up. This is where I was, I was going to try the green and see if I liked some of the turquoise color in it. And when I first put that down, it just really stood out to me. It wasn't cohesive at all. I did not care for the way it blended with my sky. So you'll see here, I'm just gonna quickly go back, mix up a different color, and I'm gonna go back in and start to lay that in instead of having all that turquoise. It just wasn't cohesive. There was no other green in this anywhere. And I, I just didn't like the way it felt. So again, right? It's it's just paint. If we make a mistake or we do something and we don't like it, let it dry, paint over it. There you'll see I brought the dark in right along the edge of my light to take that wave that's closest to us on the shore and just kind of lift it up. And then later I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add the white and put the highlights on top of that. And then it's really going to help give dimension to my wave. So here taking some more light blue, um, putting that across the sand these waves just started to naturally form. I just looked for the darkest areas and then went right above those with lighter highlights and then just naturally started to form the waves rolling in on the beach. Now here I'm being very careful to make sure I maintain some of the yellow and pinks that were in the water so that you'll have that reflection of the sun setting in the ocean. And I will just continue to go through and build my lights on top. And here I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. Right at the edges, I'll work that highlight. And then as I start to lay in the edge of the foam, you'll see I'll lay that I'll lay that across and then once I lay that color in, I'll start to pull it back. So it just looks like the foam naturally being drawn back in as the next wave is getting ready to come over and crash.
when I first started doing the sea foam, that was another thing that used to really get me because I was always afraid to put too much or my lines just wouldn't look right. Or I was afraid to put lines on there. And the more I looked at and the more we took trips to the beach to check out the way that it, the waves were actually looking, I became less, I guess, apprehensive about just putting it in there, just putting that color down and chances are you're going to have a wave that can look like that. So don't be afraid to just, pardon the pun, dive in and do it. Right? I hope you're enjoying this one. If you are, please take the time. If you're getting value from this, hit that thumbs up button. Drop me a comment and let me know what are the things that always make you crazy? Is it painting clouds? Is it painting waves? something else, drop me a comment. Let me know. If you take the time to paint something like this, please do tag me uh, on social media. I am at Clark Fine Art on everything except Instagram, where I am at Clark underscore Fine Art. And I definitely look forward to seeing your work and what you do. Now, I'm just going to continue to work my way through and add highlights here and there, just areas where I see if there's a dark spot that looks like it could be a wave, I can put a highlight on top of it. I'm going to do that. I'm adding in a little bit more highlight from the, from the sunset right there. And I'm even going to bring in a little bit more, uh, lighten it up in the part where the sun is coming down above the horizon. Um, but now I am, I wanted to tone this and this was still a little bright and I want to darken it up a little bit. So I liked my clouds, but I wanted to glaze some more color over that. So I'm going to come through, I'm going to glaze the blue again. I'm using my makeup brush just to kind of blend out the brush strokes that I'm doing. And I wanted to darken this up. My water's dark. So if my water's dark, I want my cloud, my sky and my clouds to be darker on that side as well. So I'm just keep coming back through and just playing with the clouds. Um, glazing over it and I just keep slowly tweaking things till I get things just the way I want and then that's gonna be it adding in a few more clouds here and that is my ocean sunset painting so again I hope you enjoyed this I hope you will take the time to give it a thumbs up YouTube does reward interaction and until next time my friends I thank you for spending your valuable time with me and I encourage you to keep creating bye for now see you in the next one